Hello and welcome back and today I want to continue talking about Steam and NAS. I've already done a few setup videos and today I want to talk to you guys about how to set up a Steam gaming library on your Asus Store NAS. Before we get to it though, and I've mentioned it in the other videos but I'll address it again, why on earth should you store your games on a NAS? There's lots of things flying around that people talk about how fast games all run on NAS and whether it's even necessary. And I'm here to tell you that I do think it is a viable way forward. Why? Well, nice and simple, the cost of SSDs. Right now, we're looking at a two terabyte hard drive from the guys at Spanner. Say hard drive, it's an SSD even. And this two terabyte SSD costs just over 250 nicker. And that's two terabytes of storage. Now, don't get me wrong, SSDs are faster and the majority of SSDs that are SATA based will give you three to 500 megabytes per second read. But with hard drives, Although hard drives only give you 100 to 110 megabytes per second traditionally and a little bit more, maybe 120 in some cases, if you look at enterprise level drives at least, they can go up to 200 odd. But these hard drives here, if you get three, maybe four of these drives and install them inside a five or 10 gigabyte, uh, gigabits per second NAS, the result is that not only Will the combined drives all together in the right RAID give you three to 500 megabytes per second? But because of the now affordability of 10 gigabit and 5 gigabit NAS, you end up with some remarkably affordable and powerful NAS solutions that not only can be used as private clouds and storage, but also can be used as a Steam library and give you substantially more space than those SSDs. Here we have a, um, a five gigabit, uh, 10 gigabit Ethernet NAS that's populated with four 10 TB drives, and that is a big old expensive NAS there. However, if we populate it with two terabyte drives, we're looking at 680 pounds. Now remember, that original SSD was 250. So this NAS might be double that price, but you end up with four times the storage and 10 gigabit ethernet to store all your games, and of course, all the backups and ease that a NAS presents to you. So, when you are setting up a NAS for your external storage, do remember that you can't rely on one gigabit ethernet, you will have to get a faster than one GBE NAS. I listed a bunch of NASs there on screen, and there are loads of NASs there that arrive with 10 gigabit ethernet, five gigabit ethernet, or the ability to upgrade. But in the case of the Acer store, they've already got some 10 GBE and uh, 2.5 GBE solutions readily available. And if you utilize a bunch of adapters available online, QNAP have got them, Acer store have got them and more, this can mean that this external Steam library is ready and accessible at a decent speed that is the same as or greater than SSD, but with the added benefit that your library is now in the NAS. And for those of you that have ever purchased loads of games on Steam, you'll know that because of space limitations on SSDs and the cost per gigabyte of SSDs, chances are most of your Steam library never gets downloaded. You only download it when you play it. And with modern games coming in at 50, 100, 200 gig or more with all the patches, DLC, etc. in 2019 and 2020 games, the, the, you know, the size of traditional SSDs right now is just not going to cut it. And this uh, referenced as well with games being removed from popular gaming platforms like Steam and PSN and Xbox Live because of licensing dispute, licensing expire, or games coming out of development. The result is that often you may pay for a game that if it gets removed from Steam, you're not getting it back. And that's the other reason to bung it on a NAS. But according to OBS, we've already been rabbiting now for almost six minutes. So let's get to the point. And I do apologize it took this long. In order to set up a Steam library on a NAS, what you need to do, not just any NAS today, we're looking at the Nimbus Store 4 from Acer Store. Once you've got your hard drives inside and set up your RAID for the first time, I do recommend you check out my video, head over to the File Explorer. From here, this option here is to create a shared network drive, a shared folder, which we're gonna turn into a network drive. From here, click add, and we need to create our new uh, shared folder. We're just gonna call it Steam for now, and it's going to live on that RAID storage that I've put inside my NAS. You can give it, you can encrypt the whole thing, 
or you can set it up so it has its own recycle bin or make it invisible if you so choose, but we're not going to enable that option. Click next and we talk about who can access it and how they can access it. Click next and from there, we're pretty much ready to set up our, our shared folder. Once we've sh set up our shared folder, as you can see, it's there on the list theme, head over to the setup application, Asus Control Center. And this was the app you would have used to set up your Asus Store NAS for the first time. Once you've got and found the NAS on the local area network that you've been configuring over this time, highlight, connect, and go to Map Network Drive. From here, log into your NAS. Go over the basic credentials there, click Next, and find your folder, in this case, Steam. From there, select a drive that you want to map it to. I'm just gonna select G. And from there, click Finish, and now on our local machine here in Windows Explorer, we've got my local SSD and now we've got my Steam library ready to go. So we've got the folder, now we have to link Steam with our new NAS Steam folder. Come out of there and go into the Steam application. Once it's booted, go to the top once you've logged in and go to settings. From settings, select a download here in the middle and then the top option, to Steam library, uh, Steam library folders. You may notice that at the moment, your Steam library is housed on that normal C drive or your SSD. Go to add library folder, and then from there, click the arrow down and select that mapped network drive you created. Now, in some instances, and I know it, it depends on the version of Steam you're running, or even your operating system, you will need to create a sub folder here because if you try to create it, it won't let you do it because it can't be on the drive root. So what you need to do is head back to that shared folder we created, go down and within that folder, create a new folder and call it whatever you like. I'm going to call this one Steam Games. Then we can come out of that because that folder will be instantly created. And once again, go to add library folder, click down, find the drive, and as you can see, the folder I've just created is now visible. Then click Select, and that's it. Now Steam has access to the NAS, and it will download games, as well as let you know how much space there is and how much is utilized. If it doesn't say yes here to select the NAS as the default folder, click right, uh, right click and select Make Default Folder. From there, we've now set it up for any games that we play or download to be housed on the NAS drive. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I am running OBS, so unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to play any games for this. This video is about setup, but you'll be pleased to hear that we'll be doing a Steam overview video of how games run over 10 gigabit ethernet, 5 gigabit ethernet, 2.5 gigabit ethernet, and one gigabit ethernet very soon. But this has been how to set up your Steam library with an Asus Store NAS. I'm sorry about the long rambly preamble, but a lot of you just need to be, you know, reminded just how good a Steam library NAS can be. Next up will be another NAS brand coming very, very soon, and I'll make my way forward onto that now. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.